Hello, I was just going to record a quick overview of uh, logging in with Clever and some of the back-end tools and just so uh, anyone who would like to can see uh, how some of the changes are made uh, as well as how the syncing uh, happens with uh, real applications. Um, we don't have too many applications set up and I haven't been doing this uh, for an extremely long time so I'm um, still learning some of the ins and outs uh, exactly what to expect from each application but hopefully this will give uh, everyone watching a a good overview of what's possible with Clever and Sycamore. Uh, so here is my uh, login page. Um, so this is just our dashboard URL. Uh, it's clever.com slash in and then we just made the um, next part slash WCA. So once they go here they can uh, log in with their Google account which we have set to sync. So I'll click on that and since I'm a district admin as well as a teacher it gives me the option. So I'm going to do a teacher first Uh, once I click that, it is going to uh, give me all of the different instant applications that we have. So that means once I click on this, I'll be logged into a specific account. Uh, and then here are some links that I've added. So this goes to our school website. This goes to Google Drive, uh, Britannica. Just click on one of those to show you kind of what it does. Click on the Sycamore one, and it will just take me straight to Sycamore without me having to type in my credentials. Uh, I'll show you Khan Academy, what that looks like. And as a teacher, Khan Academy will actually pull in all of my class data because I've chosen to share that with them. Um, right now it doesn't show the actual student's names, it's just showing that they're a clever student. And then when I go in and manage the class, um, I can confirm that uh, who exactly is in it. So that's Khan Academy. Uh, there's a couple other applications that we have here. Um, MindMoto is a uh, mind mapping um, software formative like real-time response a... uh, application. Um, EdSurge is, I think, like education news. Um, so some of these are related to the classroom um, in a teacher-student sort of way, and then some are just uh, applications that are tools just for anyone using it. So whether you're a teacher or a student, it's pretty much the same thing. An example of that would be the graphing calculator. Um, it will log you in. It's going to look pretty much the, the same for students and, and teachers. Uh, so that's an overview of what it looks like from the dashboard side. Now I'm going to log out and uh, show you the district admin side. So I'm going to click Login with Google. My account. I'm going to log in as a district admin. So now you see um, pretty much the same thing but now with a few more icons for editing it or uh, changing the um, the groups that are set up. Um, I'm now gonna go to dashboard and that will take me to kind of the back end of Clever and there we can kind of see the syncs and the uh, different way things are or different way that we've set up different apps. Um, so I have I haven't shared uh, my data with uh, Quill yet. Basically I started the process uh, and then I didn't finish it just so I could show that. Um, so I'm going to click share data I'm going to look at uh, preview recommended rules uh, so if I want to edit the sharing rules uh, this is probably the most complex part of uh, Clever where you're just setting up uh, rules so what it did is it looked for any subjects that have English or language art um, so if I wanted to edit that, I could then do subject equals, and then I could drop down and, and look at some of these other ones. And this is really the coolest part. So only people that are English language arts will see uh, the Quill app icon once they log into their dashboard. Um, you can limit it to teachers. Um, you can limit it to students. Really, there are so many things. If I added a new filter, you could filter that particular um, rule even further. I'm going to leave that rule. Um, I'll add another rule just so you can see. It kind of takes you through um, a template of source or a wizard of sorts. I'm going to say I want to share, share sections and then I'll bring up some of those sections and that then you can start to um, narrow that down. So I'll say you know by section grade and I want equals 
and then I'm going to say I want equals seventh seventh grade. So it pulls in all my seventh grade. You can preview preview all those. Okay. I'm going to go over here and add applications once this is done. And this will bring me through a list of uh, applications that I can I can add to our dashboard. Uh, so there's some really great um, ones like Clever has a code pack and a writing pack that are, are really good. Um, just all based on free applications. If I click right here, you've got all the free ones. You'll see a little blue free sign up there that, that helps you know uh, what's free. And then um, they have it by subject over here. Uh, so once you select those apps, then um, you can select multiple ones and then you can go through adding those and setting up the permissions like we just did for Quill. Uh, next thing I was going to show is uh, the data, what all is being synced from Sycamore. Um, so here you see uh, for our school, um, I could click on each one of these and kind of drill down a little bit further if I'd like to. Um, I can look at sync reports just to see um, you know, if there's anything that's failed. They also send out an email um, that will, uh, kind of like a daily email overview that will kind of say, hey, this is what we tried to sync, this is what didn't work, and um, this is you know, what we had trouble syncing. For the instant login, you can uh, change a few of the settings as well. So you can change your portal name, um, you know, that URL uh, if you'd like. You see we have it set up as WCA. There's a few options, and this is actually where we set up our identity system. So we have Google Apps set up, and uh, the great thing about Clever and Sycamore is it actually will create a username and password um, for the students that we have set up to do a live sync. So we have everyone from middle school to high school set up to sync automatically. So if we had another, a new student in Sycamore, uh, they'll have a Google account automatically created for them by Clever, which is extremely convenient. And they'll be organized by the classes they're in, and um, it will just really keep them organized without us having to do a ton of work. Okay, that's a quick overview of uh, Clever and Sycamore. Um, hopefully that's helpful to those of you who wanted to see a real life scenario of how it's used in a school. Thanks.